Hello, my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sitch. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Know that roles can be reversed if I say it's you. It could be your person. And I do talk a little dirty. So if you get offended by dirty talk or nudity in the cards, just find your way out of the read. Come and get another day. Okay. I want you guys to take a deep breath. And release. And let's see what the guidance is for you guys today. Let me say my little prayer, get started. Okay. All right, so you don't have to be a fire sign for this read to resonate if it found you, it just may be for you. Rootsandrewards.com if you'd like to request a read. Uh, my sales are now over, so it's going back to the regular pricing. Uh, I take Venmo, Cash App, and PayPal. Everything's in the description box below, or you could always message me on rootsandrewards.com or Instagram rootsandrewards. All right, so fire signs. To start off, um, I thought my iPad was charging, and it wasn't. So there's no background noise today. Uh, so maybe... You're running out of uh, energy, or you're you're no longer giving someone energy um, that doesn't quite deserve it. Uh, also, you may feel like you don't have enough energy uh, moving forward, but I feel like more so you're putting somebody to bed to sleep, and you're going towards uh, relaxing and peaceful and quiet state of mind like I feel uh, really peaceful at this point and there was the four of swords so you coming over you coming out of um, feeling um, heartbroken or backstabbed or whatever you're dealing with the seven of swords flew out what's that about somebody is being sneaky hmm Or that could just be you running away with your uh, your thoughts and not really telling somebody too much about what you're doing because you feel like that person has been uh, snaking you. Enemy, hidden enemy, clever, malicious person. You have to look over your shoulder with this person. Okay, so the to the clock ran out. Time ran out on this bitch. Love call ended. No more calling this person to give love calls. Thieving. All right. Not what I was expecting, but you do have passion here. And you have the phoenix. So you're rising as the phoenix. You're learning the lesson. You're going towards a new phase. And uh, you're taking on a growth mindset now. This is a renewing energy and there's going to be intense chemistry with someone. Uh, you like each other equally and having fun. All right. You may want to, may like Arizona. You're from Arizona with Phoenix here. All right. Let's see what's going on. Fire signs. You may not be used to things being so quiet and mundane. You may not like it that way. All right, fire signs. Oh, tickle my nose. <laughs> Somebody just want to tickle you. They want to get the hands on you. Fire signs. What's what's up? Two of wands. Yeah, you you are at a crossroads. You could still be at a crossroads at this point, but it looks like you're moving away from that energy. I see mountains. So you may want to go to. A mountain uh, to the mountains. You may want to go hiking, or there's bursting out with emotions here too. With the Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone younger than you has a lot of emotions for you. So the crossroads and bursting out. So releasing love energy or feelings for someone also. 
and coming out of the three of swords so i'm not looking back at the heartbreak anymore you're moving forward fire signs oh shit i gotta reach out to someone i just rem got reminded damn it how did i forget that um and she's she's a leo too okay um the ten of swords and the queen of wands there you go you're no longer wrapped up in mental conflict or feeling rejected by people that are stringing you along or just you're going in, in, in the wheel. You know, you've been going on a wheel with this person. You really are, uh, this light is, is bothering me. It's making lines. Um, so somebody's been, you don't like how somebody's vibing, right? Their energy is just like they're a stickler uh but you're coming up as this sexy driven outgoing uh, enthusiastic queen of wands regardless of gender male female you're looking sexy hey sexy lady mm -hmm. somebody giddy up <laughs> all right fire signs what's happening with the fire signs yeah deciding you know what i don't want to build this anymore you tried to build brick by brick but it was not building uh on solid you couldn't build a solid foundation with this person place or thing there was lack of effort lack of hard work putting into it three three is here Look up that name, angel number 33. You could be 33. Somebody could be a... Um, a hearing missionary, but maybe they work... Uh, no, not a missionary. It's not missionary. It's a missionary position. No, um... Damn it. Mason. Somebody could be a mason that lays stones, pavers, and stuff. Okay. Let's see fire signs. What's up? Fire signs. This person made you emotionally unbalanced. They could have been emotionally unavailable to you. Or very explosive in their emotions. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, not feeling wrapped in love energy by this person. Okay. Fire signs. So you're moving away from this. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they kept you in lack. You know, waiting around. Um, possibly breadcrumbing you. You know, not really caring about your feelings and the connection more for them fire signs five of swords yeah sabotage two of swords indecision and uh you're coming out of indecision here and you're rowing away and you're going to be uh rowing right into a healthy partnership leo with the Six of Wands, you're claiming victory and you have togetherness with somebody that is healthy for you. It, this is going to be a strong connection here. This could be coming in the next four weeks uh, to four months, maybe even four days for some of you. So this is going to be a solid foundation here. You could have been in a third party. I was feeling that before, but I didn't really want to say it because the Three of Cups wasn't out. But it is out now and it's in reverse. So... There could have been battling uh, between lovers here or uh, friends and family or jobs coming involved or somebody just, you know, likes to go out and party and they were choosing other things over you. So time ran out on this, this person over here. Then you have uh, a person on this side that is healthy for you. That's very sexy, very driven in their energy. Very excited to come into you with the Nine of Cups. This person wants to be smug in your energy. They're not trying to throw you tower moments. 
it's not unstable with this person. Seven of Pentacles, they're, they're planting the seeds. They want, they want this connection to grow with you. Uh, there could be some watching and stalking and looking and liking what they see. All right, that's good. Fire signs. Who's this person watching you that's about to leap in for you as you walk away from the spilt milk, as you explore other revenues? You're not going to sit in, in the past. You're moving away from past events, maybe with a cancer energy. Yeah, it's a wrap. You're understanding it's a dead end and there's not any transformation with this person, possibly a Pisces. This person hides away and cloaks away from themselves. Too much Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Aries, Leo, you're becoming this emperor, the empress. Yeah, you're, you know, being very patient in becoming the emperor. So giving yourself grace as you mature. So you're maturing from this past relationship. You're understanding uh, that it was a dead end and there was no movement. Uh, there wasn't much sunshine, Leo. There wasn't much joy. This person didn't make you feel confident. They actually darkened you. They shadowed you. And there you're coming out of the partnership with the four of wands. So you could be coming out of long-term time, long -term partnership or committed partnerships. And you have new passionate beginnings here with the ace of wands. Somebody's very s sexy. You're going to have this person come in and seduce you after you resolve the heartbreak that this person caused you or you caused each other. Let's not just blame one person, but um, you're letting the tower crumble at this point because it's, it's not, it's un unsteady, it's shaky. So no longer waiting for that, uh, this person to change or come back in and give you a better offer because they're not, they're not giving you something better. Uh, it's going to stay stuck possibly with the Pisces. It's stagnant energy. There's lack of communication or comprehension. You know, you guys are not understanding or comprehending what you both need out of that connection. So it's okay. You got, you got the Phoenix rising. You got passion stirring up. Your sacral chakra is going to be lit up as this person comes in to, uh, seduce you leo sag aries you all you fire signs are on my table you become really confident here feeling really empowered as you gain this enlightenment as you um you show more grace to yourself and patience to yourself Somebody really likes how uh, balanced you're becoming in your energy. They're coming in to uh, shed some light on you, this person. Who's this person coming for the fire signs? Well, it's committed. It's a committal person that has a lot of love energy. They're very well balanced. Soulmate connection. You guys connect on emotional level. There's emotional communication between the two of you. It's justified. Uh, no one's going to feel uh, rejected in this relationship or backstabbed. Really nice or juggled. This person's not going to juggle you. So it could be a Taurus, Libra, or Cancer. Who's this person coming in? They come in very wise. They could be spiritually gifted or uh, religious. They could be older than you, some of them. Some of them are younger. Or you're the younger fire sign. Who's this person that's wanting to commit to give love energy and give justice to the fire signs? Who's this person? This person is waiting for you to come out of this commitment that you were in. They're a little bit out of a cro at a crossroads about whether or not uh, you're going to be coming into them. They're manifesting love, a love affair with your ass. 
they're sitting there trying to manifest uh, to have a justified connection with you and to throw their hot rod or warm apple pie at you. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's very given. They may like to give presents. They like to give gifts. They like, uh, they sit very tall in their energy. They know uh, the value of a dollar. They may like bargains. All right, who's this person? What is this person wanting from the fire signs? They don't want communication to end with you. They're wanting to charge in with communication. Uh, this person is single, abundant lady, abundant man. They're very independent. They're very self-sufficient. Very golden energy here. Fortune, yeah. Golden. They're very abundant. Well, they're, they're abundant in finances or they're abundant in spirit. They may work uh, for law enforcement or clerk's offices law yeah law um or municipal offices they come in they really want to shine light on you see they want to have you smug you know they want you to feel smug in their energy putting in the right amount of effort towards you they're not thieving on you the seven of swords so this person is really manifesting good connection here what's the outcome with this collective fire signs love call is coming in no longer being breadcrumbed or begging they're watching this person is watching you so you already you probably already know this person or if you're online this person knows you they are very intellectual. They have the gift of gab. This this person, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Scorpio. This person may be rolling away from their own um, tower crumbling, their own chaos. They're rolling away from the mental conflict of that situation. They're no longer trying to rebuild uh, things with past people. All right, so that's looking good. So let's do a little sexy time on how you and this person are coming together. Let's see. Yeah, you're done being snaked. People have malicious, malicious intent for you. Constantly have to look over your shoulder, worrying about, you know, things. There's no more worry here. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. And the Emperor, you see? You're getting a new emotional beginning. You're filling into your cup, and you're flowing over onto this person here. So you've, you're becoming this emperor. This person's becoming an empress or vice versa. And they're wanting to roll around in the sheets with you. Somebody may like parfaits or um, Sundays. They're wanting to bring you sweet treats. So you may have a sweet tooth. Four of wands again. <laughs> Having you sit on, sit on the swing with them so they could ride you. They want to hip thrust your ass as your titty, titties bounce. <laughs> they like your long legs too. You may have very long legs or just a really nice shaped booty that this person is just want to put their face in your ass. <laughs> put your put their face in your ass. And there's going to, they may even want to like tie your ass up to the bed frame. Um, caress you with like daggers. tie your ass up. Ace of Swords. So this person will speak truth to you. They're very honest. Honest in their communication. Alright. Six of Cups. You feel very childlike with this person. You feel like very at home with them. Very comfortable. It's like looking in a mirror. You guys mirror each other. 
And there's the Hierophant. So this looks like it's going to go to a higher level uh, with this person. Taurus, Libra. Um, Papa. Pappy, I'm hearing. Your father may be on the other side guiding this connection. Yeah. Heartfelt uh, conversations here between you and this person. Somebody was very wounded by their past commitment. And this person is just wanting to, you know, come in and put the hand on you, your little chin and neck and just guide you uh, towards a lighter time. They want to heal you. Want you to sit on their lap. Oh, you're healing this person from uh, death. So, yeah, you could have someone that's passed over. Possible uh, Taurus or Scorpio. You're ending this Frankenstein mindset that you've had. This lack. It's a wrap. You're transforming from it. You're going to feel a lot better coming out of this energy. And know that Mercury retrograde is moving on in. So... People from the past, things will start, you know, things will stir up again. And people will try to come back to you and snake on you all, all over again. So keep that in mind for the next month. You could already be feeling this energy of people coming back. Usually if people leave, they try to U-turn it and it's not even worth anything. They're going to continue to keep you waiting and watching for them. Throw you the tower moments. Somebody's going to be really jelly to see that you're getting fucked nicely. You have an ex that's not wanting to see someone else put the hands on you. <laughs> and you're super comfortable with this person. You're really relaxed with this person. To the point, like, you'll let this person do whatever they want with you. Like, you'll be their little rag doll. <laughs> See, you'll be really submissive to this bitch. <laughs> Not bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You'll be really submissive to this person because they, they're approaching you very gently. And then, you know, like, coddling you, a little rocking you. Rocking you to sleep a little bit. The motion in the ocean. Putting your ass to bed. Maybe you have a water bed. Or you live by the water, you live by the ocean. All right. Let's see. Yeah, they're not going to be happy. Can't get past my insecurities. That's probably your ex. They're probably very insecure. They couldn't uh, stroke your ego. You're saying, I choose me. I want to know how your lips feel. That's how this person is coming in and you know trust me trust me i want to know how your lips feel they're coming in so soft so soft for you let's work out i want to feel your lips they really want to feel those lips they really want to feel those lips and don't think that it's just sexual with this person because it isn't use your discernment and your discretion but i don't feel like it's just sex with this person I feel a lot of intimacy and closeness and softness with this person. So let's work out. So you may be a gym rat and you got a high sex drive. You got a lot of stamina. Or this person got a lot of stamina. All right. Who could this person be? For the fire signs. Who's coming into the fire signs? Shit. Capricorn 19 uh, 24 water signs Cancer Pisces Scorpio Leo 13 and Neptune Pisces uh, 21 so that's looking good Taurus Libra 16 here 
You may want to play those numbers. Self-care. So I'm live uh, Thursdays over here and on TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse. If you want to come and join the collective reads, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, throw me up an emoji or a little bit of feedback in the comments. Keep me motivated to keep you motivated. Uh, it helps me a lot. Uh, I have um, digital gift certificates available if you'd like to purchase a read for your fr friends and family. Uh, just contact me on rootsandrewards.com. You're needing to connect with fire, being fire signs. So you may want to, you know, do a little bonfire for yourself or a bon burning bowl ritual, you know, writing your, your worries away and then burning it, clearing your energy, clear your energy with sage or water, salt baths, and yeah, sweet treats. So somebody does like sweet treats. Maybe you're needing to bake some brownies with a little bit of goody goody in there you get my drift and take a walk see how the mountains so you may want to go to like switzerland or uh, colorado or somewhere mountain peaking mountain pikes peak maybe you may be um planning a road trip here with this person where you're up in the you're up in the mountains the country you have fire outside you're taking hikes Mountains have snow on them. Uh, ooh. Oh, watch out. Watch out. You go have a baby. Connect with your womb. So some of you guys may have fibroids or um, you're trying to become pregnant. I see a rainbow child in the future uh, for some, not all. Uh, make sure that you're meditating on it and um, focusing on the cervix and womb, o ovaries and uterus um, visualizing a golden light filling up your womb all right wrap it if you don't want this pregnancy here well, you guys could need uh, surgery for fibroids just check on your womb or your prostate health okay lotus flower i see here all right a lot of sexual energy between you and this person. It's magnetic. I feel like there is telepathy with you and them. This person gets you. All right. They think you're special. Love me, love me not oracle deck. These are mine, sexy time and love me, love me not. They're available on my website. Um, I'll still do the $25, uh, sale for you guys, $5 ship. Otherwise it's going back next week. It's going to go back to 40. Uh, I'm seeing signs of you everywhere. So there, I want you baby. <laughs> so you, this person's being reminded of you. This connection was a blessing for me. So really you, you guys made an impact on each other. And now this person's like, I need you. I want you. I miss your touch. So you could have had some, you know, intimate moments with this person already. Or somebody's just missing being touched intimately. You're going to love how this person grabs you between them. In between the like grabs you around your waist i want to leap towards you you are sexy as hell so they really desiring you really desiring you don't worry you'll let the past go you'll move along from it it's gonna it's a good choice that you're making to stay away from that past and uh let's see let's do uh the dice Follow on all outlets. Guys, we hit 1 million likes on TikTok. Thank you so much for watching and liking and commenting, booking, all of it. Appreciate all of it. All right. So let's see what goes on here. Okay. Venus. 
Venus, pertaining to relationships, romantic or platonic, love languages, desire, and allure. Uh, so somebody's love language, I feel, is touch. Uh, the other person's love language may be gift giving. And yeah, you're desirable right now. Okay. And then you have Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Where are you at? In search of the truth. Positivity. Seeking calmness. Longing for adventure. So this is the calm before the adventures that you're going to have with this person. So they're flowing into you very peacefully. And then you're going to go on to those adventures with them. And then five, number five, fifth house represents womanhood, feminine cycles. See, the womb came out. Pregnancy or hobbies, creative disciplines, and fun activities. So I feel like you're going to birth, you're going to birth some creative uh, ideas. You're going to get involved in new hobbies and your feminine health needs to be, um, looked at and prioritized your cycle may be all over the place uh you could have early pregnancy that could be a sign of early pregnancy um yeah wow you may have five kids between the two of you or a five-year-old a 14-year-old a 16-year-old or a 15-year-old birth date could be august 9th or september 8th or july 9th september 7th August 7th, August 10th, August 11th. All right. That's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the read. Hope it did give you some clarity to your situation. I do appreciate a likes, donations, and kind words you give me on a daily basis. I have an Amazon wish list in my link tree link uh, below. If you'd like to purchase something for the channel, I have... Uh, cards and crystals and jewelry everything for your viewing pleasure and i like to get gifts i do appreciate it follow on all outlets that way i could pull your energy a little bit easier if you're booking your your reads just uh write down your zodiac sign your questions you want most clarity on and a profile picture if you book on cash app or paypal just message me on Instagram or my website, okay? Or Gmail, Roots and Rewards uh, Gmail for any questions or concerns. No, I'm not taking any concerns. <laughs> Only questions. No, I, I'm not the concern box. Only in your reads, okay? <laughs> All right, got merch over there. I got protection jars. I got uh, chakra healing and tension candles gift certificates i do appreciate you guys and i'll see you again soon next is going to be earth science bye guys keep yourself in high regard